I was at the zoo a few weeks ago and I noticed this woman who was there with her boyfriend. I couldn't help but notice she'd obviously had like a BBL because she had these really tight shorts on and I'm not saying this in a weird way but I couldn't help but notice her butt was very big in comparison to the rest of her body. She clearly had lip fillers and maybe some other different surgeries. She just had this typical influencer look. Instead of feeling jealous towards her, like, I used to feel jealous towards these kinds of women. I felt kind of sad to think once over she was a child, she was a little girl, and I started to think like as women, how over the years we get so influenced by different things like social media, reality TV shows, celebrities and influencers, and over time we start to lose touch with who we really are and start to have desires to look a certain way not because that's genuinely how we want to look as a result so many women are starting to look the same with the same lips the same slim thick body and the same sort of features like nose jobs um the makeup techniques and i don't think it's our true desires we don't as children have a desire to want to get lip fillers and BBLs and to look a certain way. We don't come out of the womb wanting those things. It's the way these influencers influence our desires and wants because we see men lusting after that and we think that'll get us validation. And I'm not hating on these women at all. Like I said, I really feel for them. I feel for the fact that They've gone from being an innocent young girl and over the years been more and more influenced by social media and all this different stuff to want things that maybe they don't truly want. And I've been there. At the start of this year even, I started getting lip fillers. Um, thankfully they've pretty much gone now. And I started to look less and less like my true self and more and more like one of these influencers and i think we should embrace our natural quirks our natural beauty these different surgeries and lip fillers and things like that they're like the instant gratification of beauty in my opinion and i talk a lot about instant gratification on this channel but instant gratification it can be applied to beauty as well instant gratification is doing things in the moment that give you a quick dopamine fix but later down the line you start to resent yourself for and your future self has to kind of pay for and there's another term which is delayed gratification and that's doing things that are hard in the moment but you will get results over time from it and see genuine success from it you know i used to get an instant hit of dopamine when i got my lip fillers and i used to get like eyelash extensions I'd get an instant hit of dopamine. After about a week, you kind of forget that the fillers are there and that's why it becomes so addictive for women to get these fillers um, because they kind of forget how they look so they just get more and more until they look stupid but they don't realise that because they've sort of got used to it and forgotten how they look. I think the true way to glow up as a woman and this is what's worked for me. I know I'm not perfect now. I don't think I'm a 10, far from it, but I do look a lot better than I used to. <laughs> the true way to glow up is delaying gratification because over time, you'll start to see results from your hard work, actually pour into your appearance. There's so many different things, but things like working out, eating a clean diet, having a good hair care and skincare routine because another instant gratification for me was dyeing my hair. I used to dye it like a different colour every week and while at first I got this like instant fix of dopamine, over time my hair ended up so damaged and I ended up having to get it cut really short because it was so damaged and dry and even when I did get it cut short it was still so dry from all the dye. But since I've actually been taking care of my hair and the delayed gratification for me was not dyeing it and stick into a good hair routine where I where I put oils on it each week and have a whole routine with it to really care for it and other things would be like skincare actually using things that are good for your skin because so many things actually dry your skin out that are meant to help it it's like an instant fix of gratification you know really cheap products with loads of different chemicals and ingredients it's actually really bad for your skin over time. Investing in a skincare routine, you know, using essential oils to massage into your skin 
and essential oils are just so good for everything like my hair has grown so much this year just from using essential oils and not dyeing it as for makeup i don't think makeup's a bad thing you know if you're using it to cover your entire face and change your features that's the wrong way in my opinion but if you're using it to bring out your best features and also bringing out those little quirks about your face that and maybe unique to you. I was insecure about my nose, how it sort of sticks up at the top. Oh, <laughs> like sticks up there a bit. And for so long, I wanted a nose job. And thinking about that now, I would have just ended up looking like one of these influencers. Just, they all somehow look related. But since I embrace in my natural flaws that aren't actually flaws, they're just like quirky characteristics that add character to your face. And using makeup just to bring out your best features you know like i like to wear eyeliner because my eyes are my best feature in my opinion um yeah instead of just using it like using a ton of makeup that actually just covers your entire face and morphs you into looking like one of these influencers you know all the contour in which yeah i do add a bit of contour here on my cheeks but there's an extreme way that you can do your makeup that it just looks like every one of these influencers who kind of just look like they're related to Kim Kardashian. Truly think about why, if you want lip fillers and all these different surgeries, why you want them? Has it been influenced by society and by social media, by celebrities and influencers and all these different people? Or is it truly what you want? Try and delay gratification, you know, I think the best way to glow up, and this is what I did last year, first of all I wrote out what I was insecure about that I can actually change, and I actually have it here. I wrote this in February this year, it's now November, and I've done most of these things, so my insecurities, this was the 12th of February 2023, and I just wrote out the things that I can change about myself that I was insecure about. So it's like my hair wasn't long enough, I want it down to my boobs. My hair wasn't shiny and smooth enough, my face felt bloated, I, I had a bit of extra weight at the start of this year, but I've lost a lot of weight this year. I had dry lips, <laughs> I think because it was winter. Um, my stomach stuck out big in proportion, uh, you know, my body feels too big and drowned. So I did have a lot of insecurities at the start of the year regarding my weight. So this year I've been kind of focused on losing weight and growing out my hair. And you write out the insecurities about yourself that you can change. Don't think about things that you can't change, like, or oh, without surgery you can't change, like, oh, my boobs are too small or my nose is big or whatever try and embrace them as your unique qualities so I, I like set up a plan of things I can do to improve um like a little plan so for my hair it was like wash one to two times a week um use oil only straighten one to two times a week don't dye it at all and take biotin pills and then I had like a full weight loss plan so my full weight loss plan was fast 16 to 8 so that's 16 hours fasting and 8 hours eating period, which sounds like a lot eat, um, fasting for 16 hours, but it's actually not because you're sleeping for say 8 of them hours. So it was from 7pm till 11am I was fasting. Um, walking 10,000 steps a day, a diet with reduced carbs and an exercise workout routine. So different things for that. and. I've stuck to most of them things and I lost this year since February. In fact, I got all the, I wrote out, I'll try and show you. So my body measurements, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so the 11th of February, my weight was 60 kilograms. I was 60 kilograms and my waist was 30 inches. And by, oh, and my body fat at the start of the year was 35%, so obese and then i just kept on taking these measurements you know little by little apart and by the 21st of september this year that was the last time i took them because i'm happy with my weight now my weight was down to 48 kilograms from 60 at the start of the year my waist was 24 inches so 
just writing out a plan of your own insecurities things that you can actually change though don't focus on the things that you can't try and embrace them as your natural beauty you know and also list out the things that you do like about yourself so you can embrace them more and i've just done another you know <laughs> i've actually just done about a month ago another plan for glow up because i'm still on this journey like i say i'm not a 10 and i'm still on a glow up journey but i'm a lot more confident than i was at the start of the year when i wanted lip fillers and all this instantly gratifying stuff like lash extensions fake tans and i'm a lot happier in myself embracing my natural features you know embracing the fact that i don't look like one of these influencers that i naturally have quite pale skin and small lips so so yeah i will make more videos on this and truly i don't think you need all this different stuff this instantly gratifying plastic surgery to look like every other woman and that's how i've glown up <laughs> glowed up i don't know if that's even a word <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching bye